Hi guys, today I will cover uh, more comments in AutoCAD. I will start with extend. We have extend the donut and array. Let's start with extend. Extend is used to extend a line to another line. For example, we have this line is already drawn and we have this line for some reason, we need to extend this line to intersect with the first line. How can we do this? Using extend. Can be called from modify extend or this little icon or ex enter. Once you called the command, AutoCAD will ask you two questions. The first one, you need to select the line we need to extend it to, which is the first line, this one. Then enter and then push enter. Then I will select the line to be extended, which is the second line. So extend is used to extend a line to intersect with another line. Let's try it in AutoCAD and see what will happen. So we have a line like this one, and we have another line like this one. From modify, we have here extend or this little icon, extend. If you cannot find it here, you can open the little arrow and you can find extend. Or you can write ex enter. Or to add, to ask you have the, the first, to select the first line, you need to select the boundary, boundary edge, or write b enter. Go ahead and select the first line to be extended to enter. Go ahead and select the second line, the second line already extended. Escape, we are done. One more time. We have this line, and we have many lines here. It's not only one, we can do many. Like this, and like this. Let's see. So EX enter, I will select B, which is boundary edges, enter. Select the first line, enter. If you click this line, extend it. This line, extend it. This line, extend it. This line, extend it. This line does not extend it. Why? Because if you extend this line, it will not intersect with the first line you selected. So how can I make this extension between the two lines? We can do it using chamfer. If you select chamfer and define your distance zero, Enter, zero, enter. If you select this line and this line, we can extend both of them. Keep in your mind, chamfer extend both of them at the same time. That makes sense? This is extend. Sometimes we can use it. The second comment today is donut. Donut is used to draw solid or hollow circle. What do you mean by solid or hollow? Solid means we have a circle which is solid, like this. Or hollow. We have a circle which is hollow, like this. Looks like a donut or donuts. Did you eat donuts before? Something like this. So AutoCAD, after you call this command, AutoCAD will ask you two questions, actually three questions. The first question, what is the inside diameter? We have here diameter for the inside circle. And what is the outside diameter? What is the outside diameter? Once you define both, AutoCAD will ask you where is the center to put your donut or your circle. We can make it using click by mouse. That makes sense. So let's try. From draw, we have here donut. Or you can open for a uh, draw, you can open this little arrow. You can find donut or do enter. AutoCAD will ask you for the inside diameter and will define 0.5, for example. Outside diameter one, enter. We are ready. I, am, I did zoom in to make it 
كلير كليك 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 once you click you are defining the center of this donut so it will be drawn that makes sense you are done escape if you decide to call this command one more time do not if you define the inside diameter to be zero and the outside diameter for example 0.5 you are going to draw solid circle click 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 click, click and so on so keep in your mind, if you define inside diameter equal zero, you are defining this solid circle. If you define a value for the inside diameter, you are drawing a hollow circle. That makes sense? Before going through array, I would like to draw this shape. We have a cross section. If you are civil engineer or construction engineer, you can understand that this cross section is a cross section of a reinforced concrete column. We have outside rectangle represent concrete 300 millimeter by 300 millimeter. And we have inside rectangle or square, which represents the stirrups, steel reinforcement stirrups or transverse reinforcement, whatever. The offset distance between the two represents a concrete cover, I don't care, around 20 to 30 millimeter. We can use it 25, so that's fine. We have a steel reinforcement, looks like solid circle. How many? Eight. What is the diameter of each? 12 millimeter. We need to draw this shape. I will delete this. And I will start to draw rectangle, REC, or you can call it from here, rectangle, 300, 300. You can zoom. I will do offset for this square by 25. If you look here, this one, we have here a fillet. It's not sharp corner. It's a fillet. And your fillet here has a radius equal the radius of this steel reinforcement, this circle. This circle has a diameter 12, so the radius will be 6. So if you go back to AutoCAD, make fillet, or if enter, define your radius, 6, enter, click here, click here, you are done. Call it one more time. Click, click, you are done. Click, click, you are done. Click, click, you are done. So I draw rectangle. I did offset. I make fillet. Do enter, do not. Your inside diameter will be zero. Outside diameter will be 12. There you go. We are ready to draw the donut, the steel reinforcement. Just to zoom in here. Zoom more. Adjust your circle. There you go. Only one, just one. What about the rest? I will do copy. Copy. Select this circle. Enter. I will catch it from here. Make sure the ortho mode is on. So you are 100% accurate that the copy will be horizontal. I will do a copy here. You can make zoom in to adjust the position. I can do another copy here at the midpoint, like this. I will do escape. I will call the, co the copy one more time. Select this one, select this one, select this one, enter. And catch this one from here and go down. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, adjust this position. Believe me, the rest will be adjusted. Copy. Select this one. Select this one. Enter. Catch one of them from here. Move up to nearest point to the midpoint. It's accurate enough. We are. That makes sense. If you look to this shape, Exactly like this one, everything's the same. 
number of reinforcement, cross section dimension, and everything the same, except we have here this diamond shape. How can I do this? It's very easy. Don't draw it from sketch. You can make copy for this shape, and here is another copy. That makes sense. Then I will draw a line from this center, make you that ortho mode is off to this center, to this center, to this center, to this center. That makes sense. But this is not the required. Your line is tangent from outside, not from the center. That's easy. Even your mind. This circle has a diameter six. You draw from the center, but you know you want to draw from the edge. Tangent. So I can make offset radius, which is six. So offset six, this line outside, this line outside, this line outside, this line outside, then I can delete the original lines. There you go. There you go, very easy. So if you go back, how many comments we used? We used the rectangle, we used the offset, we used the fillet, we used the donut, we used the copy, we used the lines to finish up these drawings. That makes sense. The second, the, the third comment for today is called array. Array is used to make many copies, rows and the columns, or in a circuit. We have two types of array. We have rectangular array, represent the number of rows, number of columns, or we can have polar array in a circuit. You are making copies or array in a circuit. We can call this comment from modify array, or this little icon, or ER enter. For this specific command in AutoCAD 2023, after you call the command, we need to do some adjustment. For example, ER enter, or draw, uh, I'm sorry, modify array, or this little icon. Once you get the command, don't do anything, don't write anything, don't select anything. Just go ahead and open this arrow and just use the array. No, not this one. I'm sorry. Wait. Array classic. How can I get it one more time? Once you click array or write AR enter, go ahead and open this little arrow and select array classic. Or if you write here AR, will give you many options. You can select, ar not array, array classic. Array classic will help you to show up this window. We need to draw array or use array using this window. We have rectangular, we have polar. Let's see. If I draw a rectangle with 0.5, comma 0.5, very, very, very small, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in to find it. Then I will write here array and select array classic, rectangular. I will draw from this rectangle or this square, how many rows? Five. Five rows. How many columns? 10, for example. The distance between row, 0.75. The distance between column, 0.75, for example. Select object. I will select this object, enter. So what I did, I selected the type of array, rectangular array. I selected the number of rows. I defined the number of columns. I define the distance between rows, the distance between columns. I selected the object and the push enter. Once you agree and the push OK, we created array. 
for this rectangle, for this square. How many rows? Five. One, two, three, four, five. How many columns? Ten. The distance between columns is the distance between a point to the same point in the next column. The distance between rows is the distance between a point and the same point in the next row. Does that make sense? One more time. So you have a rectangle with point 25 by point 25. For example, AR array classic. I will select the number of rows, one, one row, number of columns, five. If the number of rows one, I don't care about this distance. Don't write zero, but leave it. Uh, the, uh, distance between columns, assume it's 0. 0.5. Select your object. I will select this square. Enter. OK. We'll create one row and the five columns. That makes sense. Sometimes we are using polar array. For example, if we have a circle and I have this rectangle, which is located at this quadrant, I would like to array, make many copies for this rectangle around this circle. For example, I need to create eight copies but uniformly distributed around the circumference of this circle. You can do this array, classic, polar array. We need to define center point, center point. Don't write anything in X, don't write anything in Y. No, go ahead and pick up the center. Click this little icon. Go ahead and select the center of this circle. This is the center that this body will be arrayed around. How many? You said eight. Big, select object. I will select the rectangle, then enter. You are ready. I define the, ty the type of array, polar. The center, you will create array around. How many? Select the object I did. Okay, I am done. It's not easy. To make copy, you know, if one of you would say we can do copy, you are kidding, because if you do copy, how can I make this object to rotate? How can I make uniform distributed distance? Does that make sense? It's very hard. So array can solve this issue. AR array classic, polar, your center. I'm going to select this center. How many? For example, it's a 12. Big. Your object. Enter. OK. Enter. This command or this type of array can be used to draw this one or this one. We have a circle with a diameter 610. We have another circle with a diameter 550. One of you will say, hey, can I? how can I draw two circles inside each other? You are kidding. We can draw one circle and they make offset. So we need to determine what is the offset distance between the two circles. Since the outside diameter is 10, 610, the inside diameter 550, so the distance between the two circles is 30. Do you know how? 610 minus 550 is 60. Divide 2 will be 30. We have this a steel reinforcement, which is a solid circle with a diameter 25. How many of them? Eight. This number eight need to be arranged, need to be arrayed uh, equally around the circumference of this circle, the inside circle. So I will draw a circle with a diameter. So I will call draw circle center and the diameter. And this is the center, your diameter 610. Zoom out. I will do offset 30 for this circle. Do not inside diameter 0, outside diameter 25. Here is a stereo enforcement. Only one, just one. How can I make array? AR, 
array classic polar array your center I'm gonna pick up the center of this circle how many eight select object I will select this steer reinforcement which is a solid circle enter okay I am done but to get array this solid circle equally around the circumference of the circle, the, outside, the inner circle. Uh, how many? Eight. One more time. Circle. Your diameter 610. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a radius. So draw, circle, center, and the diameter. Here's the center, your diameter 610. Offset 30. Donut inside diameter 0, outside diameter 25. I draw here a copy. Then I will do array. And this array will be array classic. Your center will be the center of the circle. How many of, I assume it's 12. Select your object. That makes sense. So today we covered three commands, extend, to extend a line to another line, donut, and array. For array, it's very important to show up these windows. If you cannot find them, go ahead and write your command like this, array classic in the command line to show up these windows. Okay? Or once you write AR, make sure you are selecting array classic.